Bonjourno, it's Nathan from nathanhaig.com and australiawow.com.au. Now this is an awesome video. It's a growth hack, all right, and it's gonna be for your Facebook and Twitter and whatever custom pixels that you're using right now. What happens is, is if you put those pixels on your page, then anyone that lands on your page will actually be added to that custom audience. And that's fantastic, all right? However, what will happen is that people of low value to you will just come onto your page and bounce away, right? That's what we call a bounce rate. So you want to really sort of say, well, listen, when you actually hit my page, wouldn't it be great is if I could add you to my custom audience, i.e. fire my Facebook tracking pixel, if you've spent, say, I don't know, 30 seconds on my page, right? Don't fire it off when they just land. No, 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 low quality. Higher quality is if they've been on your page and spent, say, 30 to 60 seconds on there, right? then add them to the custom audience. Now, how do you do that? Option A, get a fleet of programmers and just piss around with your website. Option B, that's what this video is for, there's a hint, is to use the Google Tag Manager. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do that. No programming whatsoever, it's genius. Let me show you. All right, I'm quite excited by this. So the first thing you wanna do is obviously go into your Facebook and create a tracking pixel, right? In this case, I've got one prepared, as you can see, lame pixel, and it's unverified, happy days. So then what you wanna do is you wanna go into your Google Tag Manager, right? So if you don't know what Tag Manager is, you really need to be following me on Australia Wow over there on Twitter, and I'll take you through what you need to do. All right, let's, uh, let's turn off, uh, let's just close all of this crap down. Bye-bye, close that tab so we don't get any 400 billion messages annoying us. Right, so let's go on to our website. So what you need to do first is you need to install from the Chrome store, you need to install the Chrome or the Google Tag Assistant, okay? It's a free plugin, go and get it. And it looks like this when you've actually installed it, right? You're gonna need that. The second thing you need to do is go on to your Google Analytics, okay? Now, this is my playground, nathanhaig.com. I kind of like put all my stuff in here and all my growth hacking tips. So what you wanna do, is assuming that you have your Google Analytics in place, again, if you don't, you need to follow me on Twitter and I'll show you how to do that. But come down here, go on to your behavior, click on the overview, and then we can see here a really <laughs> shitty bounce rate of 75%. Yeah, that's not good. But look at this, the interesting thing is um, that it's four minutes and five seconds, the average time spent on my page. And the reason for that, if you're interested to know, is that the page in question is usually this page just here. So this is my get 100 clients in 30 days. My bounce rate is terrible because basically people land on this one page uh, and then they, they, they leave this page, all right? But on this page, there's a complete 21 you know, video series on Twitter, right? This is my lead gen, this is what I use. Anyway, back to the reality. So the point of the story is you're using the Google Analytics and you're saying, well, listen, uh, most people stay on my site for, let's say, four minutes. So I don't want people added to my Facebook audience, custom audience, until they've been on my page for, let's say, two minutes, right? You see where we're going here. So a more quality person has been on my page for at least two minutes, then add them to my Facebook custom audience. So what you wanna do, armed with this information, this is ninja stuff, because you're not picking stuff out of the air at this stage, all right? You know they've been on there for four minutes, all right? You get the idea. So I'm gonna use two minutes. In this case, I'm actually gonna use 30 seconds just for the purposes of this demo. So now what you need to do, armed with that knowledge, is go into the Google Tag Manager, tagmanager.google.com. If you don't know how to do it, you need to follow me definitely on Twitter, Australia Well. All right, so what you wanna do first is you wanna go down to on the left-hand side where it says, Triggers, okay, let's form a new trigger. So click on new, amazingly, and you wanna click on the untitled trigger. So I'm gonna go um, 30 second uh, all website visitors. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, okay, so call the, uh, the, the tag actually something meaningful. Next, I'm gonna put it on the timer, so go ahead and click that, and it comes up with this guff, and you're like, oh, that was a bit scary. So it's in milliseconds, all right? So we're gonna do it for 30 seconds. Obviously 30,000 uh, milliseconds is 30 seconds. So 30,000, 30,000 milliseconds, right? The limit just here, I always put in there one, just do it, that's all you need to do, and you click on continue. All right, now what we're saying here is, okay, we'll fire this pixel after 30 seconds when the page URL contains, and if this is for all your website visitors, I'm quite happy to put in the 
they're just the straightforward nathanhaig.com because we don't care which page they land on because we're going to add them to our Facebook custom audience, right? So that's what you need to do, right? Click on continue and leave it set for the all timers. Let's go ahead and click save trigger. Happy days. All right, pretty easy stuff. So now what you want to do is go to the tags, okay? Because now we're going to create a new tag. So click on new, okay? And this one's going to be called, all right, our Facebook uh, lame pixel, all right? Whatever the, the pixel you named, call it here. Choose the custom HTML tag. And if we go back to our Facebook, let's, uh, let's actually just get the code. Thank you very much. Copy that code. Let's come back into Tag Manager and then just paste it in there, right? So nothing genius at the moment. Make sure you tick this box, don't ask, just tick it, and click on Continue, right? And again, over here, you want to choose the More. So fire this pixel on the 30 second All Website Visitors, okay? So click on Save. So literally all we're saying is, listen, fire this Facebook pixel when the 30 seconds has been reached and they're on any page, right? Just click on Create Tag and up she comes. All right, so now we're done. So now what you want to do is up here, you want to publish it, and you click on the Publish Now. Now obviously you need to make sure that the Tag Manager uh, pixel has been installed, all right? And if you want to know how to do that, again, follow me on Australia Wow and ask me questions there. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bug test this, all right? So we're gonna click on the little down arrow, we're gonna click on Preview, and we think about it, thinking, thinking. Now it turns orange and it's in our preview mode, okay? So now what we do, because we had that tag assistant in there, let's go back to Nathan Haig, all right? And so now, because we've got the little tag assistant thing up there, and we put it into preview mode, if we refresh the page now, we'll get to see all of the, uh, the pixels that are firing on the bottom of the screen. It's kind of cool. So there you go. So you can see, right, while I'm waffling at the moment, all right, and there's all these tags that are fired on the page. These are the pixels I've got there in the moment. But let's just wait, because I set it for 30 seconds, if you will recall. So at this stage, I, I don't know, I might just hum or something, I don't know, I haven't got a clue. All right, so we've got to wait for 30 seconds, not much longer, and you'll see that the tag actually gets fired after the 30 seconds. And there you go, right? The Facebook lame pixel has now been fired. So by staying on the page for 30 seconds, the Facebook lame pixel has been fired. Now we know it's been fired because we'll go back into Facebook. There's our lame unverified pixel. Let's go ahead and refresh that. And he said confidently, boom, there you go. So the lame pixel now is active. All right, that my friends is how without any programming whatsoever, that's how you set a timed Facebook conversion tracking pixel. It could be Twitter, it could be any other pixel that you want. All right, hope this helps you. My name is Nathan Haig. Follow me on nathanhaig.com. Follow me on Twitter, Australia Wow. All right, I often do periscopes and nearcasts and all the other technology on there too. And I am a whiz at doing all this analytics type stuff. And I absolutely get my rocks off, believe it or not on YouTube marketing, which I'm a bit of a ninja at too. So find me on uh, youtube.com forward slash Australia. Wow. That's W-O-W. Laters. Bye.